typical house. It looks like a pretty nice place to live. But inside, there are hidden dangers. In the bathroom, in the bedroom, in the kitchen. 40% of all reported injuries happen around the house. And we're going to take a look at some of the most dangerous household threats. But first, we'll find out how secure your house is against threats from outside. There are more than 2 million home burglaries every year. One every 15 seconds. How can you stop them? As a former cop, I know that about half of all burglaries are committed by the burglar gaining access to either the front or back door. But not all doors are created equal. We're going to demonstrate why some doors and locks are better than others at keeping thieves out. Or in this case, big burglars like Dave. Well, I am the crash test human. It looks like I'll be crashing through a couple doors. You're not going to be crashing through one or two, but we got three doors for you. Oh, what are you, money hauling now? I'm, I'm very close to that. What we got set up is three doors and locks of increasing strength and durability. Okay. Let's take a look at the first one. This is your basic entry-level door, a hollow wooden door. We got two locks on here. First one, everybody's got it in their doorknob. It's a spring-loaded latch bolt. You turn a switch on the doorknob, and the knob locks in place. The other locks, a deadbolt. Turn the lever, and the bolt slides out into a slot called the strike plate. This is an aluminum deadbolt. Aluminum is the weakest metal that they use. Look at these strike plates. They're about three quarters of an inch into the uh, door jam, which right. doesn't make it as strong. And this door, I don't know, it seems pretty weak. Did you, you bust your way through it? Oh, I think so. I think, um, let's give it a shot and see. All right. Okay. Most people never check their front door. Here's how we can check it. Place your hands up high in the top part of the door and push. If you feel that give way in the door, you know it's a weak door. Okay, Steve, you ready? I'm ready, big guy. We're gonna I'm do three. It on a three count. One, two, three. Hi. You just got my TV and my dog. It took a few tries, but that latch bolt lock and the aluminum deadbolt were no match for Dave. Yeah, look at that, though. Look at this. It held for a couple of really good whacks. I was surprised it held as much. First, sh first shot you did, you, uh, you cracked the door. Look at the stuff down here. Strike plate. I mean, you just bent metal. This is the deadbolt. It's supposed to keep you out. You have huh? another door for me? Yeah. Good job on door one. Let's do door two. Let's go. Friend. All right, door number two, same two lock situation we have here. This is the same spring-loaded latch bolt that we had on before, just a little bit fancier. Yep. This deadbolt right here is made of bronze, so a little bit stronger than the aluminum. Uh, you can see it's a little bit sturdier here inside the door. You think you can handle this one? Try me. All right. I hate it when he does that. Okay, let's see how tough this door is. One, two, three. This door is holding up better against Dave's assault, and the bronze lock isn't bending. Pretty solid. Except for that last one. Wow. You didn't even mess around with the locks, my friend. You just cracked the wood and split the edge of the door. The locks held, but the wood gave way. Well, it just goes to show you how strong the locks are. So also, I'll tell you, they're so close together, it makes a real weak point in the door. You know, if you separate oh, them and put, put a them a little higher... Here. It'd make it a little stronger, I think, in the door than trying to have it right over the uh, handle. The first door had weak locks. The second door had its locks too close together. It's time for door number three. Now, this is what I call a door. This is the granddaddy of them all. This is a steel-reinforced wood door. And instead of that spring-loaded latch bolt that we had in the other two doors, what we have here is two Medico deadbolts. And I'm not quite sure, though, about these strike plates. They still in the door jam. They are, but what these uh, strike plates have are metal caps on the inside. and In the caps, I have long screws that go all the way through the door frame. So these are going to be a lot sturdier. So this is going to be your toughest test of all. It looks like it. We'll see you in a little bit. Okay. Since this door is stronger than all the others, let's try to focus all of our weight right here between the two deadbolts. If there's a weak spot, I should find it there. You ready? Yes, sir. Dial in 911. There's nine. There's the first one. There's the second one. You're in trouble. No luck, senor. I tell you what, but I think I have something that will work. This is called the master key. And in my line of work, this is what we use to break into doors where the bad guys want to keep us out. This is a Thunderbolt Monoshock. It uh, weighs about 35 pounds, and uh, let's see if it opens up this door here. 
All right, stud, you got the master key. Let's see what it does. The monoshock is made of a non-conductive material, so you don't get a spark off the door in case there's explosives or a meth lab inside. Now we're going to try what we call Thor's hammer, a little bit more focused energy. I can't seem to find the door's weak spot, so instead I'm applying maximum force to take out the lock. Fortunately, burglars don't carry these. You're, yeah, that lock's coming. Holy, it's like three days. Nice, great work. But I'm already in my nighty down the street calling uh, calling the cops on the neighbor's phone. Well, if you were going to tell me you're going to be in a nighty, I wouldn't have came in the house at all. <laughs> this was strong. Well, there definitely would have been the lock in the door that I want on my house. The lock is still intact. You just, you beat it right through the door. I mean, if this was a wooden door, you would have crushed the door. Look at the jam, too. The uh, strike plates kept intact. If you want to keep out intruders, your best bet is to have a steel-reinforced door with a couple of sturdy deadbolt locks. The stronger the materials, the better. But even the strongest door and lock can be defeated if you have decorative windows. They can allow a burglar to just reach inside and let himself in. 